Previously on Ready to Love. Atlanta has got a dating problem. Yes. It seemed impossible to find love. We're here to solve this. Do your hands, <laughs> We brought together 20 men and women who all say the same thing. They ready for something real. By the end of this 10-week journey, only six people will remain. Three couples who found love. Boy, the fire was burning between Tiffany and Alex. Michael and Shay, Pastor Chris and Stormy. Can you handle the storm? Can you handle the storm, girl? And Aaron. How do I hear today? That's my boo. That's, That's mine. mine. All the ladies liked Aaron, but it wasn't a smooth night for everyone. Did you cheat? Yes. We started the night with eight men, but only five will make it from here. Ultimately, it was up to the ladies to select five men they want to continue dating. Picking the first four was easy. Michael, Keba, Aaron, and Alex. Pastor Chris, Darnell, Paco, and Devin. There's only one more spot left. I want a man who's sure of himself. We'll find out who the lucky fifth guy is. I know it took me some time to get to the place that you wanted me to be. Oh, but now I'm ready, I'm ready to love. Hey, ladies. Hey. Hey. Are you excited? I've been excited. I feel kind of weird, but we're going to see how it goes. I do, too. Like, seriously, I could not have asked to be surrounded by more beautiful, positive women here in Atlanta. I love that. Oh, ladies. Hey. Look at y'all. All right, talk to me. How y'all felt about last night? I made some connections. You made some good I'm, connections? I'm satisfied with last night. Did y'all exchange numbers with anybody? I wanted to. You wanted to? Who? Aaron. Aaron? It's hot. It is hot. And it's sweaty, <laughs> but it is nice. Be with me, Jesus. All right, girl. Uh oh. What about you, Tiff? I saw you and Alex together quite a while. Alex is fine. Did he get your number last night? Uh oh. Uh. Uh oh. That means you gave him the number. I'm blessed. I think she did. Yeah, number she one. gave him the number. Mm-hmm. I think we need a little testosterone up in here. Y'all good with that? Yes. Come on now. All right, well, we're going to bring on the fellas. Bring them in. Bring them out, bring them out. Y'all make some room for the fellas. Yeah. All right. What's up, big time? You good? Same song, baby. All right, baby. All right, all right. I definitely will. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Storm. Hey, Storm. How you doing? Somebody ate my food already? I know. Wait, it took too long. <laughs> I think we missing somebody. We're going to bring in the person that made number five last night. Okay. Let's bring them. It was really intense in the deliberation, Devin or Pastor Chris, and we're so excited to see the remaining gentlemen. Uh oh! Pastor Chris! What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, man! I'm really excited because I really am here looking to find love. And I've made this wonderful connection with Stormy. I mean, it's like, this this is going to be an incredible journey. I didn't come to lose, man. You I didn't come, come to lose. lose. I came to <laughs> win. Go ahead and have a seat, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Round two with Pastor Chris. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Pastor. All right, guys, listen up. The next few days are about getting to know each other. I mean, do some dating, see each other's houses, Whatever you got going on in your life, they need to see it, open it all the way up, be real. Our next mixer is right around the corner. At that mixer, fellas, y'all still on the hot seat because these ladies will be taking it down from five to the final three. Wow. Man, that fast? My first thought wasn't fear. It was, damn, I got to get to it. But I, I think I can pull it off. Pass over there like, I just got here. <laughs> y'all enjoy y'all brunch. I'm going to see y'all in a few days, all right? All right. Bye. From five to three. Wow. Mm. So I feel like the guys really have oh, yeah. their work cut out. Having to juggle 12 women, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Well, you know, like, same time, just be yourself, have a good time, and hopefully they get to see the real you. 
wanted to give you a hug earlier, but I was like, no, I'll take it. I wanted to do a little bit more than that earlier, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alex got my juices flowing, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I, you, you look good by my side. And you look good by mine. Hey. Hey. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Knowing that the objective of this journey is for three couples to walk away, I think you have to start claiming, and I was not afraid to put that out there. I'm watching. I'm looking to see who's connecting with who. You like being on your knees. Ooh! And particularly who's connecting with Aaron, because I need to know that. Do you? Oh, wow. wait a minute now. I'm the stand-up type of girl. I don't like to be on my knees. Aaron's giving everybody that charismatic smile. There's just certain people that are gonna have that electric energy. You can't quite put your finger on why you like them, but you know that you do. I have realized that I have not had any one-on-one -on -one time with Aaron. I really need to find out what all the hype is about. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna steal him away. Ooh, the hype? The hype. <laughs> Don't believe the hype. We have to eliminate two guys, so I gotta work my way around this room and, and find out who's worth keeping and who should go home. You only have one kid, right? Our son, yes. So what happened with you and his mom, other than the fact that you were 24 and young? Yeah, we didn't know each other, really. I mean, we was only together four months. I didn't give her the right amount of love and attention she deserved. I mean, you do learn a lot from your mistakes, though, you know? Yeah. You know what kind of guy, like, will, will grab you? I don't really have, like, specifics, yeah. but I know what I like okay. when I see it. Sure. I like this. This I feels that. good. I like this, too. You like this, I too? I like this, too. He's definitely a charmer. I think you might have just made my top pick. <laughs> hey! Oh, you don't, you don't want to come visit me? You stand away from me? That's what we doing now? The woman who I connect with the most thus far is Shay. But it's very early on. I'm going to explain to the ladies and tell them, listen, I'm open. Let's all converse so they can see who I am. Let me ask you a question. What is spirituality to you? It's something that's within you. You know, I hear a lot of people saying they have to go to church to know who Christ is, but I feel like Christ is within me. To me, spirituality is not a particular religion. Yeah, I agree. And I come up from a very, very strict Christian background, but I, I don't go to church on my own time because that's not my, my spiritual belief anymore. So my religion, it's uh, called Ifa. It comes out of Africa. The good thing about Ifa that I like is we don't look at anybody else's religion that's wrong. If I am with a woman who has a different religion from me, mm -hmm. I'm okay with if we have a child. We teach our child both of these because now you give me a child a menu versus saying, here's this, right, this eat is this, or exactly. else. And do you agree with that? Oh, no, I do agree. It's about spreading love. So that's what I believe. Amen. Amen. So, what do you think about us doing a date? I'm open. Uh, you seem like you have a lot of substance. Of course, you look really nice. And I definitely thought you were attracted yesterday. I was like, Aww. well, dang. I said, well, well dang. Who you was looking that? across the room. I definitely want Michael to get to know all the ladies. Talk to Shatava, get to know her. And then you would know why you coming back over here to me. Just getting it, just getting it, chat back. Now I'm feeling some pressure because rather than me thinking that I'm just gonna, you know, connect with one girl, I realize I've gotta make a connection with some other people because possibly one of these ladies could find love with me. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? I am well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you You're as well. I can't wait to go on this date with Melinda. She is extremely, extremely classy. Thank well, have you. a sit down, have a sit okay. down. thank you. This is somebody that I need to try to see if I can make a connection with. But let me ask you, so did you come from a religious family? Is oh, that absolutely. kind of... absolutely. Okay. So my dad was a deacon. I don't know, it's just been a part of my life. I am a Christian. Can I just say I'm a perfect saint? I am not, hey, by neither. far. I'm, not, I'm a pastor, <laughs> I'm not a perfect saint. <laughs> So tell me about your last relationship. My last relationship was kind of crazy because the girl was, she was going through a divorce. Okay. And she decided to, thank you, she decided to go back to her husband. So you were dating a woman who was married? I was dating a woman who was going through a divorce. You were dating a woman See that, who was there married. You, there you go, there you go. <laughs> See, there you go. Pastor. You sound like my mama, though. Or you're like, son, she's married, and I'm like, but well, I'm I'm sounding like most human beings. She was still married. She was she still married. Right. I give you that. Okay. I give you that. So since that time, I've just kind of 
Just been doing you. Yeah, just been doing me. Just dating a little bit here and there. Yeah. And that's when I really started to see what it was like to date in Atlanta. It's a whole different animal. Mm -hmm. Number one, because you got a lot of people who say, I don't really need a man other than for sex. Mm. So Women have said that to you? Oh, yeah. Now, you do have another group, the younger girls who are looking for a sugar daddy that can, you know, take care of certain things. Mm -hmm. and they take care of you. Yeah. But I'm not into that. That's not who I am. That's not what I want. Sure. And so for me, premarital sex is a big issue. I really want to wait. What about you? I mean, that uh, I haven't. I don't. I don't know how to answer that. You want to answer <laughs> that? Come on now, answer that. You're talking to Chris tonight. I've never thought about that, or no one has ever asked me that. I don't know. <laughs> I see what I want. Chitava is saying, boy, I'm ready for something. I'm going to find out what it is, because I might be ready, too. For me, premarital sex is a big issue. I really want to wait. What about you? I mean, that uh, I haven't, I don't, I don't know how to answer that. You want to answer <laughs> that? Come on now, answer that. You're talking to Chris tonight. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Like, what happened to the standard questions? Like, where you from? What you like? You know, something. I don't know if I can wait oh. to go down the aisle with you and then have sex with you, and it might be horrible. Well, first no, of all, I'm sex not, with me would not be horrible. I mean, well, that's, just I got skills that you know not of. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me be a little softer with that I response. got real skills. I, I, I don't I I doubt that you have Skills. And can we change the topic of conversation? <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't, don't want to put you under the pressure. Tonight, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, I feel like I'm having to, you know. Work it a little bit. I'm having to work. It's like. So have you ever had a bottle of soap? So when you first get that bottle, you have to prime the pump. Mm -hmm. You push it down the first time, not much is coming out. Yeah. You do it again and again, and you prime in a pump yeah. okay. before something comes out. Yeah. That's how I would like to say I am. Yeah. You got to prime the pump. I don't have time to prime no pumps. I came with my pump prime. You should have came with y'all's prime. If nothing else, it was so awesome to have dinner with you. Absolutely. Today. I appreciate I that. I hope we can do this again. We can definitely talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mislead him in any kind of way. Two guys are going home, and I think he's a great man. Uh, I'm just not sure if he's great for me. Well, I'm gonna pump the prime, prime the pump, push it down. <laughs> Stop I'm gonna do it all. Yeah, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be priming the prime. You gonna be calling Let's me? Get out of this restaurant, <laughs> Chris. Let's go. Shatava, she got this confidence about her, and those are the women I like to approach. Joining someone tonight? Yes, I am. Excellent. Well, right this way. Oh. I want to have that intimate conversation, that one-on-one, -on -one, and get away from this group to really find out who she is. Well, here we are. I know. Look at you with your little button up on. That's my little Easter bunny. That's my little Easter bunny fit right here. That looks good on you. Thank you, baby. You got some strong eyes. Thank you. You melt men. Let's talk about you melting these men. If I melted a lot of men, I wouldn't be single. That's not true. We ready to order at this time? I was so distracted by him, I didn't even really look at the menu. Let me see what I want right oh. now. Hold on. <clears throat> I'll look at you. I see what I want. You know what I want? The Shatava Lava? You call me. I will have the Shatava Lava cake, please. <laughs> OK, you got it. No, I'll have a Caesar salad. Certainly. Did you want uh, some wine, maybe? Yes. We're very grown and sexy. We are grown and sexy. Chitava is saying to me with her eyes, boy, I'm ready for something. I'm going to find out what it is, because I might be ready to. So, last relationship. Yes. Do you feel like you learned some things about you that you need to change? Time is always an issue when mm -hmm. I date women. You busy? But yeah, when it comes to business. You have to have a balance. You do. And I got to work on that. I'm really busy, too. 
I work so much. I feel like I've always put my business first. And I've met a lot of guys that have just been really intimidated by that. They want me at home. They want me the trophy girl. And I'm not that. Even if my man had everything, I would still work. It's like I always have to be she woman to everything, mm -hmm. to my employees, to my family, to everyone around me. I feel like I have to be a hero to everybody. Mm -hmm. But who's looking to be my hero? Who's looking after me? Because I'm so busy looking after everybody else, making sure everybody That's else That's the is question there. again. Who is going to be my hero? Is the wind, is my, is my... Are you going to do that, is really? Is blowing in the wind? You got your cape, your invisible cape. Yeah, so far, Shatava has what I'm looking for. I know what I like. Mm. And when I like what I like, I want what I like. Ooh. I see something genuine. I see something pure. I don't feel like Shataba has a representative. I think I'm with her right now in the state. Come on up. Help me on up. She fired it here. All right. We definitely gonna move forward and see what come out of this. All right. <sighs> oh, look at you, fancy. No, he ain't fancy. Okay, let me, you know, this I'm is a- I'm Batman. You're Batman. Batman. He's just giving me sexiness. There's just something about him. Mm. I see you got the abs, though. I do what I can. I'm looking, looking, looking all sexy and stuff. I do what I can. I wanted to set the date up with Christina because she seemed pretty laid back, like really chill. Nice body. <laughs> After you. Thank you. I want to see what's up with Shorty. Let's go ahead and watch all this thickness. Ooh. I think the last time I went on a date, maybe like a year ago? I don't have like the nervous jitters. OK, yes, I do. Lord, I'm nervous, y'all. <laughs> How young are you? How young am I? And Smile. Mm -hmm. Got the a... little glow about yeah. you. I will be 33 this year. Really? Really? Trying to tell you. And how old are you? 37. Oh, you old. You're almost over the hill. We might have just push you over. Sure, I'm young, I'm pretty, I head hard. I'm in the best shape of my life. When I take this shirt off, you ask me if I got jumped all these cuts under here. Stop <laughs> playing with me. <laughs> are you serious? If you knew better, you'd do better. Pardon me, guys. Can I get you two starters or something to drink? Jameson and ginger ale. Jameson and ginger ale? OK. Lemonade <laughs> with this ice. OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't partake in the devil's liquid. Really? Never drink the damn life. <laughs> that face. <laughs> that face. I like being honest. Okay, so be, honest. be honest. Uh -huh. I don't trust people who don't drink. Really? I don't know. It's it's weird to me that, that you don't drink. As I, an adult, too. I'm already full of life. Without it, I know. Don't you roll your eyes. My dad is a bishop. Majority of my family don't drink. You're I'm not going to already... try something that you've never tried because you're stubborn? I think there's a little arrogance in Keba's approach with this date. I'm like a Pegasus, mm -hmm. a unicorn. The most commonly traveled road is the one in mediocrity. Oh, oh God. Boy. At that point, I think he was really just feeling himself. Them drinks was flowing through. He was letting himself go. I did music for a long time, rapper. You um, rap? I got rap for real. I felt like I got to speak to myself and give my pitch to the point where she could go back and be like, all right, Keba does this, that, and the third to the other girls. I think about me, I'm not super emotional. I'm not the guy that's gonna walk down the street swinging hands. But we can't hold hands walking down the street. I, okay. No, I'm not gonna do it. It's felt awkward to me. Do you know that women want to be held? They want to be loved. They want to be touched. Like, I need all of that. Maybe this is the reason why he's single. But I'm really considerate. I'm really chivalrous. But you're just Always not gonna touch to say, me. Well, I'll touch you, but it, in bed. He tricked. Everything went good. Shatava is trying to keep things moving. So I chose two women that I need to get to know and said, you know what? I'm gonna invite them to my place. Welcome to mi casa. Hey. Hi, how, how are you? Doing? Getting an invitation to Michael's house was actually a pleasant surprise because up until this point, I thought he was being disrespectful of the process, you know, because he wasn't actually opening himself up. So, I know it's Dr. Brown, correct? Branch. Branch. Mm -hmm. okay. Dr. Lexi, huh? 
You know, she came in there with all that makeup on, and I'm looking like she done went to the place and just put her hand in the makeup and clow, and just put this here, clow with it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm judging her. And that's not right, but I'm just being honest. So what's your business? I import, export. Oh, really? Well, I was in the military, I was trained dogs. You in the military? Mm -hmm. What branch? Air Force. I was in the Army. What? For nine and a half years. Wow. I think you're a very beautiful woman. I was a little intimidated by your, you know, the makeup and stuff. It's like, I don't know, it feels like a layer I have to get past. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, that's good to know. So. I'm pretty with no makeup. People tell me that. I need, can I see a picture, please? I want to ask you. Let that's me find I wanted, one. I wanted to ask you so bad. Is it more, is it just like the art of the makeup? Yeah, yeah, it is the art. It definitely is. Is you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> well, you're beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. Wipe that off right now. <laughs> Are you serious? The one thing I like about Mike, he has a way of expressing himself and communicating in a way that's not offensive. And for a man to say, I felt intimidated, it meant something to me. It's not because I have to. It's just a choice. It's just you don't hard. have to. My expression is through my hair, through my makeup, through my clothes. I haven't always been this person. I was shy. I was the little skinny black girl who was just smart in school. And so as I began to go into the military, I began to become more confident. The military taught me that I could do anything that I want to do. I can be anyone that I want to be. I ain't gonna lie, I'm shocked. Okay. You are like, you bad. Okay. So yeah, I might be blonde today. I may look like Black Panther with a shaved head because that's how I feel today. I invited some more people over here. Okay. So they do what? Hey, hey how are you? Nice, okay. That's my dog. Thank you, <laughs> What's, What's up, up bro? What's up? Yeah, good you, man. You welcome to the, welcome to me, casa. Oh, okay. So we on a double date. You got more guests? Oh, we got more. Yes, I'm oh. really finna have a. Oh, oh, you look at up, man. I didn't open this door. Hey. <laughs> I also invited my neighbor, Melinda. We've been living in the same building for five years. Hello, sexy. How are you? I'm okay. good. Melinda's just got that driver mentality. She just goes for what she wants. And I'm the same way, so I don't blame her. I got you, boo. I got you. Respect, 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 respect. <laughs> Every time I see him. Prim and proper, definitely in shape, had a nice shape, laid back, and chill, and then he would touch a little bit so I could see that he was an affectionate man. Right. So what happened in your last relationship? Um, my last relationship, I just hadn't grounded myself enough. Um, you know, I was very... Uh... <laughs> player. Uh, player. I wouldn't say player. I was just, I just, I was selfish. Okay. You know what I mean? It just got to a point where I was like, okay, is this gonna be the story of who you are? Oh, that's deep. You know, having a son, am I gonna be able to teach my son how to love a woman? Right, mm -hmm. oh, that's good. So, you know, it's just, I just stepped up. What's your ideal first date? You know, like, I, I like the whole dinner thing, but I, I've been recently taking my first dates to the gym. Okay. Or that she had that cardio, you know what I mean? That's good. To go the distance. Uh-oh. Look at that. They got quite like, wait a minute, what are we talking about? Aaron is just a ladies' man, and I've dated those type of guys. And so I don't really feel like repeating that story. <laughs> what happened with your last relationship? Why what was it mm, successful? Good question. Um, the last relationship, I lied to myself and tolerated certain things that I shouldn't have tolerated. I've been that side chick. I've been cheated on multiple times and still took him back. Didn't know why I was taking him back. Just didn't want to be alone. I made excuses for everything he did. You know, people come on this journey and they lie. I pray to God to stop lying to myself. You know what, though? What I like that you've done already is that you took accountability. <laughs> no. Mm. 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 I was looking at this sad man and just saying, like, Lord, is this it? I'm going to sit on the couch and watch him play the game for the rest of my life. Oh, Lord, is this it? He's gonna do illegal stuff for the rest of his life. I lost myself. And it took me almost 10, 11 years just to figure out who Ashley truly was. I wanna change so bad. I'm yeah. on my own, man. Yes, absolutely. I'll be alone before I settle for some bull yeah, again. That's awesome. I'm ready to love. I'm ready for someone to love me. Cause I love me. 
I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. And you know, no, that is real. Don't be apologizing for nothing. That was real. I'm very big on not meeting a representative. So when a woman opens up like this, it's hard for me not to want to know more. <laughs> that just made me look, oof. <laughs> that was sexy. The men are on the hot seat, so you have to kind of shoot your shot. Two of these fellas are about to go. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I'm boxing out Al. Mm. Oh. oh, no, she did. Go. Sorry. Sorry. It's your birthday. Hey. Two more of the five men will be let go. So this is my opportunity to get to know Keba and Alex. Thank you. Let me hey. shoot. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Okay. Hey. <laughs> well, you sure was wandering on my page yesterday. Look, on IG. Uh, did you like what you saw? I got all the generic stuff. I stalked you real quick online. Yeah, I reverse stalked you too. <laughs> I did. Stormy, the thing that was drawing me to her was her energy. Every time I looked around, she was moving, she was dancing. Like, that's me. Uh. Hey, Alex. Hey, isn't it like a rule against sexy ass voices around? I got you. With the, oh, man. It's important for me that Aaron stays on his journey. Like, I need him to stay. But I'm trying to be open to this process, so. The real reason why we're out there is to get to know these guys. I grew up in a very pastoral environment, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Always in church. What I pretty much seen when I was young is, you know, marriages and family. Mm -hmm. So uh, I definitely had a pretty good upbringing. Alex, good looking. He's very charismatic. He's funny. <laughs> yes. This week, of course, the men are on the hot seat. So you have to kind of shoot your shot. You definitely want to stay, but not just to stay. You definitely really want to find that person that you connect with on that level. I like both of them. I think both Whoa. of them are really good guys. Mm -hmm. Now that I got to know him a little bit more, and Alex is just a gentleman, they're both good guys. They both are. Oh, and he did that. Wait, what was that? I see both Can of I you. Hold on. Wait a minute. Can you do that again? God, I thank you for this wonderful occasion and wonderful opportunity that you've opened for me. I find myself drifting back to the same woman that I made my initial contact with, and that was the beautiful Stormy. Can you handle the storm? I can handle the storm, girl. I can handle a lot of storm. <laughs> I want to make sure that Stormy knows that I'm really looking to see what happens with this connection that we've made. So I'm excited about taking her out on a first date. Let everything I do today be a success. In Jesus' name, amen. I hey. appreciate it. Thank you for having I'm me out today. I'm glad you took my invitation. Yes, There was I did. no date I wanted more than this date right here. Yeah. Really, Mr. Chris? Stormy is looking amazing as usual. Man, don't mess this date up. All right. Something you here, man. Thank you. I look at Chris, and the funny thing is, I see Chris for Chris. I don't even see Chris for Pastor Chris. Chris is a very cool guy. <laughs> I must admit that you look really nice, by Thank the way. You, I mean, exquisite. <laughs> Ooh, look at you making Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Got you smiling already. So, what do you think about this connection we have? I mean, I'll be honest with you, Chris. Go with me, go with me, go with me. You're a very genuine guy. And um, we had great conversations. Then you found out I was a storm chaser. Yeah. <laughs> I sure did. Yeah. I got to chase the storms, girl. I'm talking about chasing some real storms. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, the reality is, it's a, it's a great thing when you do meet somebody that you do have so many interests with. Yeah. But I'm going to ask you this. This is, this is, this is a personal question. It's, Go ahead. I don't I'm know how you're going to respond. I don't I'm know how you're going to respond. It. For me. Yes. Um, for me, I want to wait mm -hmm. to be active until I'm married. What is your view of? As in, in sexually? Sexually active. I would like to wait until my honeymoon night. <laughs> See, you, you can't even do it with a straight face. You're like, that's good, Chris. Let me know. Let me eat some of my garlic mashed potatoes. No, for real. Like, like seriously. Mm -hmm. You know how awesome that is to hear from a man? It's yeah. freaking awesome. Yeah. For me, I think it's the highest honor a man can give a woman. 
I commend you on, man. Come on, man, let me get another sip of this wine with you. I think that's absolutely amazing. And I think that's something that I feel like I can do for the right person. I want to stand on my wedding day knowing that we waited. And so, you know, we might just date for like two or three weeks and get married. <laughs> Call your mama, call your cousin, everybody. We finna go to Vegas. <laughs> she seems to be taking this absolutely phenomenally. I'm talking about it's gonna be an event. I promise you that. It's going to be an event. I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy that you are. I'm happy that I met you. Same here, Chris. We'll toast to that too. Come on, baby girl. Let's toast to that. I could definitely see myself dating Pastor Chris after tonight. We had great energy, and I look forward to the next date. He's a funny guy, and I just love to laugh. Can't y'all tell? The time has come for that final decision. Three men, one is staying, two are about to go. I guess I give you a hug this time. Hey, you look amazing tonight, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was on the hot seat last time. I hope I'm not on the hot seat tonight. You ain't giving me no hugs, Stormy. Don't be doing me like that. So how you feel about tonight? I'm kind of nervous a little bit. Five men left and two have to go. Man, oh, man. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. You look amazing. When I walked into SL Lounge, everybody was digging my look. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna wear my usual compliment of makeup. The thought of trying something different, it really came as a result of my conversation with Michael. I think what happens with me is people prejudge me by just my look, because I'm come killing, you know what I'm saying? With the makeup and looking, but guess what? If I keep doing the same thing, I'm gonna get the same thing. I was having a good time, and I was trying something new. I mean, you ain't have to. Either way is, you know what I'm saying, but I'm glad you, uh, you know, you look good. <laughs> uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Give me some, give me some. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome to your second mixer. Now, y'all know I heard y'all been out there getting to know each other in the real world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guess what? At the end of the night, some tough decisions got to be made. Only three of you gentlemen will be asked to continue dating these ladies. Together, the women will decide who those three lucky men are. I'm gonna let y'all mingle a little bit, and I'll be back a little later, all right? All right. Matter of fact, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to mingle. Try not to come up single. The quality of women that are all here is overwhelming. We were about to talk about you, and then you know how that your ear probably was burning while it was burning. Because we was about to talk about you. I'm definitely, definitely putting faith in this process here because I believe it's working. Well, first, let me get her a drink. What do you drink? Oh, you're so sweet. Um, Chardonnay? Chardonnay, got gotcha. you. I expect that from Alex. He is full, baby. He is chivalrous. I most definitely agree with yeah. that. I could have found you on Facebook. That's first and last, but it's well, really well, You know they're connected, so whatever you post. Let's just do it right now. Let's just do it right now. Sounds good. Sounds good. I have no uh, scarcity in women that are interested in me. I feel like I haven't spoken to I know, you. I know, I know. Yeah, Angel. Mm. I'm trying to let the girls get to know you. I was excited to come here tonight for you. I know, I felt the same way. I've been used to attention, right? But when it's so concentrated like this, man, it's it's real. I'm the type of woman I see, I want, I get. <laughs> Whoa! Have you went on a date? I went with Cuba. Oh, y'all both ten feet tall, so I know, right? we make great basketball babies. But then I it was like, okay, so are you affectionate? No, he hit me with the no. no. Oh, wow. Hey. I had an interaction with Kevin. Uh -oh. It was more of him 
talking about himself versus trying to get to know me. I was in the music industry. I'm not play play rapper, like I, I'm for real. Like I have access to celebrities and. Mm. Choose off of that. Album. Pretty ladies. Yeah, that's a good topic. Miss okay. Ashley, Miss Tiffany, hey, Miss hey, Angel. Hey, hey. You know what I want to know. <laughs> Top three. Maybe Alex, number one. Uh -huh. You think? Jack and Honey, Lemonade. No shot at all. I'm voting to keep Alex in because, baby, Alex is working. I got a top one. Okay. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mike. Ooh, look at you. I was feeling him a little bit. And you think he was feeling you? I know he was. <laughs> <laughs> top three. My top Come three. On. Kevin did this thing after the basketball game that was like, oh! But Kappa's not affectionate. Oh. I think Kappa is not as mature as some of these other guys. Really? I don't have inhibitions. I literally have diarrhea in the mouth. I think it, I say it, it is what it is. Well, Pastor Chris, we, we had a gut-busting ass night. Really? <laughs> really? I'll keep him around just for somebody else, Chris, but not for me. OK. Now, I told you, I don't go to church every Sunday, and I don't want to start. I'm sorry. You need, you need Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. You need Jesus. You oh, really need Jesus. Jesus. Bottom two. Have to be Aaron. If I was to give a color to your energy, it would be like all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> no, he gets around. He, he, he'll, he'll speak, but he makes sure to hit you with one of these. Hey, you look so cute. Oh, that's cute dress. That kind of that false effort. <laughs> Just don't let Aaron go away. Okay. Oh, my God. That man do it to me. He's so sweet. I, I'm, I not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not over the vote. You need to be talking to them other ladies. Who ain't voting for my man? Who I need to talk to? Do we need to have a come to Jesus meeting or something? Come. Who? Hey, hey, hey! Gather around! Hey. Gather around, gather around! Woo! Everyone! The time has come for that final decision. <laughs> I went around the club, and I'm talking to each and every one of these ladies. And I got the scoop. Uh -oh. <laughs> and in fact, two of these fellas already made it to the next level. Oh. Uh-oh, oh They do. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> Y'all want to know who they are? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Mike. Yo, Mike. <laughs> Woo! Man, hold up. <laughs> oh, you thought I was gone? You thought I was going to the crib? No, baby. I'm here. And? Yeah. Alex. Chocolate Tissy! Chocolate baby. Ooh. They want the chocolate -tissy. They like the chocolate -tissy. Hey, we in the game. These lovely ladies have decided to continue dating both of you. So congratulations. So I'm in the bottom three. And I'm like, what? Do I need to show my abs real quick? That leaves us with three men. One is staying. Mm. And two are about to go. So the question is, who? is the final gentleman. These ladies want to continue dating. Aaron, the ladies have determined. You're ready to love. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations, man. How you feel? I feel great. Yeah? Happy, yes, yes. Yes. Good. So I'm one of the top three. And I already knew I should have been here. This journey wouldn't be as good if it wasn't for me here. To Keba, Pastor Chris. Yes. We want to say thank you very much for being part of this experience. You both are the real deal. Trust me on that. But unfortunately, the time is up. All right. But outstanding men. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> Say goodbye yeah, to Pastor Chris yeah. and Kevin. Okay. How in the world did they not see enough in me to keep me around? But you know, at the same time, I understand that they chose who they chose. Even though I'm a little discouraged, I'm not completely disheartened. 
because I know that true love is right around the corner. Much love. What's up, man? Good spirit. Bro. Thank you, man. Much love. Keep in your prayers. Yeah. Those two I formed a connection with, and I felt good energy from them. So I guess it's, it's ground zero for me. I'm going to have to start over. Oh, much love, baby. Yes, sir. All right. My role in, in this journey is over, but my pursuit to find love, oh, we just getting started. We got plenty of time. I'm ready when you are, ladies. Now we got our final three men, but we still got 12 women. So ladies, now it's your turn to show these men what you got to offer. Because from here on out, the men will be doing the choosing. The tables have officially turned. Hey, that's a Y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. Go turn up and we will talk soon. DJ, turn the beat on. So right now, I'm happy we made it. It's us three. We're good. We have nothing to worry about. But then I think about it, and if it's hard to juggle one woman, what's it going to be like trying to juggle 12? You know, guys, just buckle up, because the girls are probably going to be really trying to give their A game. I came to play, baby. And this 27 piece is on and ready. Oh. <laughs> Next time on Ready to Love. I have a connection with Aaron. Ooh. Aaron's my number one. He's been my number one since day one. We're going from 12 to 10. Mm. It's going to be some going on later. The competition has begun. Tommy has set up a date with four women at the same time. Oh. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. Go. Right on your ass. I feel like you're trying to throw me under the bus. Don't lead me on. Just tell me. Break it off and tell them why. Wow. This is real, dog. <laughs> this is real. The hit dating series returns. Subscribe to our channel for more Ready to Love.